Hey, and welcome back to Buried in Minecraft. I'm Major Madden, and we'd like to borrow a little bit of your time today to talk about some pros and cons of the farm life world by Pixel Heads. Now, this list is compiled by myself and Bad Rabbit and Iron Panther from the world that we started in the first look video. If you haven't seen that video, we go through one Minecraft day of exploring and just getting onto the world for the first time so you can check that out there'll be links at the end of the video and should be down in the description about that video but we're going to talk today about 10 things we loved and 10 things that we think could be improved a little bit about the farm life world but before we do that uh, if you have already played the farm life world we want to ask you to take a second and write down in the comments below what you'd like to see improved on the world and what you loved about it. We'll see whether we cover it as we go through the video and if not we'll see about adding it to the list and if we get enough things that we didn't talk about maybe we can do another episode here. As always we want to make sure you guys know to go down there and hit that like button and the subscribe button. It really helps out our channel if we can get more folks to uh, subscribe and to like our stuff. We play on Xbox only, and we play on Bedrock because we're on Xbox. So we're playing in survival, and we're playing on regular mode, and we'll talk about this a little bit more as we go along. So we're going to kind of bounce back and forth between things we liked and things we didn't like. Number one on the list of things that we liked, realistic animals. Lots of them. There are great animals. We can't even go through all the list of animals that we have, but uh, I think if I have to pick a favorite, it's probably going to be the roosters and the chickens. These guys kind of bounce and dance around. They're just, they're just pretty awesome. They're a lot better than looking than the regular chickens that we have in Minecraft. But there are bulls, there are oxes, there's uh, realistic looking sheep. Uh, but the regular Minecraft animals are still around. We have the regular cows and the regular chicken duck or duck chicken. Uh, and we have the regular sheep. As we got there for the first day, we looked around and we're going, hey, where's, uh, there's only two beds here. We need to make another bed. So we were trying to scramble to find wool and then we found sheep, but you know, we had to go through the hole. What are we gonna get the sheep with? We don't wanna just kill the sheep. Uh, but there were a few limitations that we found with the animals. Uh, one of the things that we thought could be improved, the regular sheep, uh, once you do shear them, they don't grow their wool back. Uh, they don't eat the grass and have their wool back pop back like they normally do. Uh, that, uh, that seems to be a drawback. It seems to be that, you know, we just have to kill the sheep, you know, grow, some, make some more baby sheep and kill those sheep, get the wool. Uh, we were shearing them and going, okay, eat the grass where you, they didn't do it. So uh, the other thing that we found out is that leads, I'm glad that there are leads. The lead salesman is in the game. Uh, and when he shows up, you can get a couple of leads off of him. But the leads seem to work uh, like they do on Java. They have that Java look where they kind of sit above them. It's a little different than the bedrock look. Uh, and the other thing that we've seen about the animals is that if you do put a lead on them and try to bring them to another place, they don't seem to be able to go up a block or up a level. Uh, what we had to do, I tried to get some dogs inside the house, and what I had to do was uh, had to bring them up the steps. You can drag them up the steps, they'll come up the steps, but they can't jump up a block or walk up a block. So that's kind of a limitation. The second thing that we really loved was the vehicles. Iron Panther especially liked the airplanes. So there's, there's trucks, there's planes, there's harvesters, there's tractors. Uh, and one of the things that we really liked about the vehicles, other than that you can get in the vehicle and drive somewhere or fly somewhere, is that a lot of the vehicles have their own separate inventory. So if you jump into a pickup truck, there's an inventory. You can put stuff in the pickup truck and leave it there and then go back and get more stuff in your inventory. Same thing with the plane and with the harvesters. This was really great when harvesting wheat. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, but there were some drawbacks. Uh, the tutorials that were in the game could be a little bit better. I've seen some other folks complain. They're like, hey, how do we hook up uh, this piece of equipment? Uh, there's just an exclamation point here. It doesn't tell me what to do. Uh, and uh, Iron Panther found out the hard way, and so did I, that the plane sometimes has a glitch. It'll go up, 
and you know in order to fly it you're pressing the a button to to fly it uh, but as you get up there sometimes it will not come back down uh, and as you can see from this little section here it uh, went up pretty high and it wouldn't come back down so what we learned is that hey we, we had to put in a runway of water near where we wanted it to land at the farm and of course out near the town we were flying back and forth between the farm and the town that we found and so we just dropped into the water there but uh that's a glitch that would be better if it didn't happen so now going back to the list of things that we really like structures the structures were great if you look at the town the town was just awesome from each town each building in the town had uh an upstairs there were beds already there in the town we didn't know this when we first got there but uh you could go there and get a bed and bring it back to the farm if you had three people like we did at the farm uh, the marketplace uh, which is right on the corner in the center of town had several different vendors there the vendors would sell you either farm equipment Or they would sell you seeds, uh, or you could buy see uh, you could you could sell them your crops. So it was great uh, until well, we'll talk about that later. The structures at the farm where you spawn in these were great as well. You had the uh, the big barn and you had the farmhouse. But as you get out and start exploring, you'll see some of the other properties are also just uh, awesome builds. There's a farm with big silos. There's a vineyard. So you have to go and check some of these structures out. Really gives you some ideas for uh, maybe some of your other worlds. There seemed to be a few special blocks that couldn't be replicated. That was kind of a downside that once you had a great looking structure be attacked by say a creeper blowing up part of your barn, you may have to use some other regular materials like regular wooden steps to try to put it back together because uh, you don't have the ability to craft the special blocks that they built those structures out of. Now the next one would be the world generation. This was one of our things that we liked. The world generation for this game seemed much like the regular world generation. I'm sure they picked some seed. I didn't go back and look at the seed. And they used that seed to, to create the uh, world that they built or the area that they built for us to spawn into. Uh, rather than some of the other games that we've seen like the Star Wars planets where it's actually a rock floating in space and if you mine too far down you can mine out the other side of the planet and fall into the void. So glad that that wasn't the case here. You could regularly mine, you could do a lot of stuff that is normally capable of being done in a Minecraft world. Uh, but one of the downsides we saw to this is that uh, as I said we play in survival and so of course in survival they're going to be the bad guys well the skeletons and the zombies seem to spawn about like usual but pillagers and creepers and witches seem to spawn a lot more on this map than they normally do on a bedrock platform and of course the creepers were I hate creepers creepers are a pain in the so we won't talk about the creepers and how I had to put a new door on the front of the house or there's a big hole in the barn because of, okay we say we're not going to talk about it. all right getting back to things that we did like oh one more thing cats where the heck are the cats there were plenty of dogs around on the farm but there weren't any cats and of course with creepers they'll run away if they see a cat but there weren't any cats so we had lots of creepers so that was on my list of things to do find cats and bring them back so getting back to the list of things that we loved we loved the ability to craft chairs that you could sit in uh, I'm always wishing that uh, we could have in vanilla Minecraft the capability of building furniture that was a little bit more functional rather than the wooden step for a chair uh, up to up next to a table and you can't really sit in it you can stand on it with these chairs you can actually sit in the regular chair you can actually sit in the rocking chair 
and it's just pretty awesome. Uh, another thing that we loved about this is number six, the new crops. So not only can you take the tractor and you can go plow a field and, and you can plant uh, stuff in it, but the stuff that you can plant in it is not just your regular stuff. There are tomatoes, there are strawberries, there are grapes, there's alfalfa, there's all kinds of different crops that you can plant and you can have a ball trying to organize what I'm going to put in this field, what I'm going to put in that field. We started off small with two seeds that we had, harvested that, took those seeds and went in there and eventually you could get to the point where you've got half the field full of corn or half the field full of alfalfa. Uh, one of the drawbacks that we saw to this was that the regular crops didn't seem plantable in the tilled soil from the tractor. So when you are working with the equipment, the tractor that has the plow on it, you can go and you can till soil and you can plant the new special crops in that tilled soil from the tractor. But if you take wheat or carrots, you can't plant those in that soil. So we had to do that the old fashioned way, drop a block of water, go four blocks out on either side with a hoe and till that ground and put wheat in. The good news out of that though, is that once you've got your wheat growing up, you can use the combine to come through, or excuse me, you can use the harvester to come through and harvest all that wheat and seeds for you. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, the bees, although this isn't really a, a farming kind of planting seeds in the ground crop, there are bees there. There's a little apiary and you can breed the bees and make more bees, but you can't go and harvest the honey from them. You can't harvest the honeycomb from them. Uh, and they seem to get mad if you break a beehive at all, uh, even if you've got smoke under it. So that was kind of a downside, but love the new crop. Number seven, love the new food recipes. So we got all these different crops. We've got tomatoes, we've got strawberries. Here's a, just a quick view of some of the recipes that you can make with these new foods. You can make burritos, you can make pizza. So there's a lot of different things that you can make that you can actually eat in the game with the food that you're growing. Even though they've got great foods that you can make, eating was a bit slow. Uh, number eight, dollars versus emeralds. We all know that the currency of choice in Minecraft world is emeralds. Very rare from a mining perspective entity. Uh, in this game, you can actually take your crops to town and you can sell your crops to the folks in the marketplace and get dollars. And with those dollars, you can turn around and buy more seeds or you can buy another tractor, you can buy another airplane, another truck, whatever the equipment guy is selling. Uh, you can also sell to them meat from uh, your, your, your livestock and get dollars. So that's pretty cool that y you can use the dollars. But emeralds are still in the game. Getting back to the world generation piece, it's great that they still left emeralds in the game so that when you're doing other things, and we'll talk about that in a minute, you can still use those emeralds. So after you've taken your crops and you've sold them and uh, you've gotten some money from the marketplace, one of the things that we found is going back and growing more and coming back to the marketplace with that more to try to sell to the merchants their trades didn't refresh and we're used to hey when the villagers go to bed and when they get back up and they can go to their their work block then they are their trades will refresh and you can sell them some more wheat or some more carrots or more potatoes not so with these merchants uh, we were growing strawberries initially and we were pretty happy we were selling strawberries and then once they maxed out on the amount of strawberries that each vendor could buy from us we couldn't sell strawberries anymore this seems to kind of in hamper or inhibit long-term play. And because we're some big survival players, we are looking at going into a world for kind of the long-term, you know, because we want to go ahead and, and get armor and do all the stuff that you normally do in Minecraft. We're not speedrunners. So from a long game perspective, once you sell out all your crops, uh, there doesn't seem to be any more incentive except to make some of the recipes in selling your crops or growing certain things and trying to sell them. Number nine is that you can still break and place blocks and you can still mine. That is going to lead directly into number 10. And I'll say this because we're playing the Bloom game and Bad Rabbit has a couple of videos out on Bloom. 
but when you're in bloom you can't break blocks you can't uh, place blocks except for things that they allow you to and in this one you can still do the regular minecrafting stuff which means number 10 you can play it in survival now this is a big deal to us but what do I mean when I say that this game is survival ready well you could go in it and do most of the things if not all of the things that you normally do in a survival game even though it's got all the special stuff for the farm if you get out of that area there's the regular minecraft stuff it's a challenging in survival because as we mentioned before the creepers and the pillagers and the witches uh, spawn seemingly at a much higher rate but you can play this in survival and you can play it on a realm you can upload this to a realm we tried it it did work and we were able to all join the realm and go and do stuff you can make a crafting table i've been on some other games where you can't make a crafting table you can make the on bloom you can make the special gardening table but you can't make a crafting table uh, so if you can make a crafting table and you can mine we already talked about the fact that you can mine uh, we like using the patented Married in Minecraft one bucket method so we can get down to level 11 and go get stuff like uh, obsidian after we've been able to get our coal and our iron and find diamonds. These are things that you normally you want to do in survival. You can do them here. Uh, the nether, once you get your obsidian, you can get into the nether. It's the old nether, but and at least right under the house it's the old nether. Uh, and I haven't found a nether fortress yet to get blazes, so because there's no blazes, then there's uh, no brewing stand, then there's no ender eyes, so there's not going to be any ender chest and no stronghold search yet. But that doesn't mean that it's not there, we just haven't found it yet. Uh, and I'm assuming that those are going to be there. Uh, also, you can fish. We put in a little pond right behind the farmhouse, and since we could fish, we can get upgraded fishing rods. And then after we got the upgraded fishing rods, then we were able to get enchanted books. We were able to get enough iron from mining to be able to make an, an anvil and then we could get iron to go get diamonds. Once we get diamonds, we can get some decent armor. Not saying that we don't like iron, but hey, you know, diamond armor is a little bit better. And we can take, uh, and we can take the diamonds and make an enchanting table. So now we've got diamond armor, we can enchant it. And because we can go around on and make ourselves maps, you see you've got maps here and we can find villages we found two so far once we've got the villages we can trade so if we can trade now we can get librarians and if we can get librarians we can get mending and unbreaking three so our armor can get even better and now it starts to become a little bit happier when you're playing in survival because you've got some good good armor that you can fight with but that you don't seem to have to hide so much at night uh, the villagers don't take money as I said they still take emeralds but there are still farmers around so I planted a big wheat field back at the farm we used the harvester to get it and the wheat farmer was happy to buy all of my wheat of course he's limited by how many trades he can do in a day but he bought my wheat and then we took those emeralds and we used those emeralds to buy unbreaking and mending books after we sat there and we explained to the villagers that mending was the books that they needed to be selling also as I mentioned cats when you have creepers all over the place you need cats there were no cats at the farm but once we found the village we did the whole put the wall up save the villagers thing we could get cats we could breed cats and so we got lots of cats and we brought the cats back to the farmhouse we even brought the cats back to the town and once we had cats all over the town and all over the farm things were a little bit better we didn't have to worry about creepers so much just the pillagers and the witches on the downside it seems that there's a problem with villagers procreating yeah we threw a lot of bread at these librarians and it just didn't happen for some reason they just could not reproduce which is a drawback because if you lose your farmers or anybody else to uh, an attack by a skeleton or a daywalker, then you can't repopulate your town. So that was the 10 things that we loved and the 10 things that we hope they will improve on the farm life map. Did we hit all of the things that you felt needed to be improved or you loved? Or do you have another question that we didn't answer here? 
If so, why don't you drop us a comment because we'd love to hear from you. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And after you do that, then you can leave. Hey, we'll see you next time here on Married in Minecraft. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.